Hello everybody and welcome back to the Maldi Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Maldi Worm 41975 and this is part 2 of my Isle of Man TT 2023 documentary. If you missed the first part then I'll link it down in the description below so you can go and check that out before you watch this video. But we went and explored a little bit of the island. We got the ferry from Hesham to the Isle of Man to watch the TT bike races. We watched a little bit of the racing. Uh, we watched a little bit of practice the first night in Ramsey. We had a few bikes and sidecars. We also did a little bit of the track. So over the course of the week we were in the Isle of Man, I wanted to do an entire lap of the TT circuit in my classic mini, which by the end of this episode, you'll see we did a full lap, which was fantastic. We also went down to Peel, which is a small fishing village on the west coast of the island where the Peel P50 um, micro car was made, which was absolutely awesome. Sadly, not made there anymore, but we checked that out in part one. In part two, we're going to be watching um, right at the very top of the mountain at the bungalow. We're also going to be checking out the Victory Cafe, which is absolutely awesome. And uh, we're also going to be traveling to Jack's Steak Bar in Douglas at the very end of the episode where me and dad enjoyed a lovely evening meal before we got the ferry back to the UK. Like I said, if you missed part one, then I'll link it down in the description below. Go and watch that first, then come back to this video and leave a like on it. Thanks so much and uh, enjoy part two of this documentary. Bit of an early start this morning. Um, half six start. Um, first day of racing today. We're gonna go to Schoolhouse Corner and have a little bit of a watch there. So that should be good. Um, we're gonna set off as soon as we're both ready. Racing, oh, roads close at nine. Racing starts at half past 10. And it is currently quarter to eight. So we've got just over an hour before the roads close. So this morning we're watching at Schoolhouse Corner. At the moment, as you can see, um, there's bikes and stuff coming. There's a car coming past right now. The roads are still open. They're due to close at uh, nine o'clock. It's now half past eight. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna be waiting for roads to close. Had a little bit of a delay this morning uh, racing was supposed to start about 11 half 11 it is now almost one o'clock roads close at half past 12 they were due to close a lot earlier than that so we should have been racing by now but as you can see the road behind me is closed there's no traffic anymore in either direction no traffic coming marshals are walking up and down uh, making sure we're all behaving so racing is supposed to start at 1.30 now. So we've watched a bit of um, bikes, um, you've just seen that. We've got sidecars coming up next, which are my personal favorite. Um, again, the road is closed. It remains closed until the racing finishes. About half an hour after the racing finishes, they open the roads again. Luckily, where we're sat today, 
I don't know if you can see it, there's a bridge just down there. So we can sneak through the garden over the bridge and we park the car on the other side. So we're gonna stay, watch a bit of sidecars. I'll film some of it for you. I love the sidecars. Through here is a very fast corner and the sidecars will be on full chat going through here, which will be absolutely awesome. So, first full day of racing. We had a bit of a delay this morning. Uh, racing was supposed to start about 12, roads were due to close about 10, and it ended up being about half one by the time the roads closed. It was about quarter past two, wasn't it, by the time racing started. That does happen quite a lot, it's not unusual. There'd been a crash, actually a bit of a dickhead in a Porsche on the mountain and had had a crash. So they cleared that up, racing still went ahead, got to watch some of the 600s and the sidecars, which were fantastic. Schoolhouse corner, brilliant viewing spot. Fourth lap record for open 600s yeah. and sidecars. Yeah, we the birch holes in the sidecars, what was it, 121 something. Yeah. That's the fastest sidecar that's ever gone round the TT circuit. So brilliant day of watching, we're going to go and get a Domino's now brilliant way to finish the end of the day mm -hmm. so the other day we saw in the Isle of Man they have KFC McDonald's and probably the biggest dominoes you've ever seen so today we've got another day of racing um, it is Sunday the 4th of June today. I can't remember how many days we've actually been on the island. It feels like, well, it feels like a very short time, but at the same time, it feels like we've never been off the island. We've nearly done a full lap of the track now. Today, luckily, the mountain is open and we're gonna go and watch at Hillbury. So we need to go over the mountain anyway. Coming up to the goose neck now, Everybody is passing us. There we go, lovely. The mountain that we're driving over now in the Isle of Man, when it's TT, it is one way traffic, so you can see everybody is passing us because it is actually unrestricted speed. You're allowed to drive as fast as you like. We're only doing 40, we're not going to be going much faster than that, but you are legally allowed to drive as fast as you like. Your days, boys, oh, go. Nice. We're sat at Hillbury. Um, it's sort of just down from Craignabar. What waiting for the roads to close, that's due to close at 12.30 in about 45 minutes. And then we're gonna have a bit of racing. We've got one six lap race today, which is uh, a big one. Um, and that's it. No sidecars today, just super bikes, isn't it? Super yeah. Beaming hot here.
we've had a brilliant day of racing. Today we were watching at Hillbury, uh, which is right at the bottom of the mountain for those of you who know the track. Some of you may know Hillbury, you may have watched there before. It was absolutely insane. I love the speed there, it was fantastic. Definitely, definitely recommend it. And the nice thing about watching at Hillbury was we were able to get out um, of the course even before the roads opened again. We're down at the beach again in Laxey, which you can see behind me. It's absolutely lovely weather. So I'm gonna go for a bit of a swim. Me and dad have just had an ice cream. Dad's out on the beach relaxing. Um, I've just gone ahead and taken my shirt off. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a dip. Come on, are you a man or a mouse? Get in there! <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> that was absolutely lovely. Went for a little bit of a dip there. Gave Dad a chance to try out some of his uh, cameraman skills as well. I'm sure you don't want to see any further down, so I won't move the camera down. But yeah, just walking along Laxey for an absolutely lovely day. And we've booked ourselves into a lovely Italian restaurant for tea tonight. So that's at 6.30 in about half an hour. So that's going to be it for today. Tomorrow, no more racing. Uh, we've got a day off. So we're going to go and explore a little bit more of the island in the little mini. It's the next day and uh, we're going out again in the little mini. We're going to go up to the point of air today. So the other day we went to the calf of man, which is at the very southern tip of the island. So today we're going to go to the very northern part of the island, which is called the Point of Air. And actually where we're staying here um, is literally like a five minute drive from the northern tip. So we're on our way to Point of Air, which as I said, is the most northern sort of tip of the island. And on the way here, I've just found out that Ramsey Sprint is on today. So once we've been there, Ramsey is about four miles from Point of Air. We're going to go down to Ramsey Sprint and have a little bit of a watch there. Here we go, Point of Air, the most northern part of the island, lighthouse behind us. And if I spin around, it is very, very busy here today. It's a lovely day once again in the IOM. Uh, we've got a little lighthouse behind us, and then this contraption is a foghorn. And that warns the ships when they can't see the lighthouse that they're getting close to the land. So we're going to go and have a little bit of a wander around, look at some of the bikes, and enjoy the sunshine. One of the things at the point of air is these arctic turns, and there's signs all around here. You can see this massive area goes all the way around here. It's a massive coned off area on the beach. You're not allowed to go anywhere on here because if we read the sign, Arctic terns have laid their eggs down here. So the eggs are probably scattered around in here. I don't really know too much about them. But yeah, you cannot go on the beach here. You cannot ride a bike on here. You can't do anything. There is one little walkway just down here. So where those people are stood, you are allowed to walk down there. But if you get caught anywhere on here, it, you, well, it says it's an offence down here and you probably go to jail. That was absolutely fantastic. Uh, my dad moved the Mini down here because we wanted to get a photo of it, sort of with the lighthouse in the background. And all these uh, French people swarmed around the car, wanted to have a look at it. I mean, everybody loves the Mini. Um, but it was amazing. It was it was quite funny to be honest because he moved the car here and everyone just swarmed around it. 
So we've just been to the point of air. We're now down in Ramsey on the front. That is the sea behind me. That's Ramsey front just behind me. This side is the drag strip. This is the return lane. It is literally just on Ramsey front, which is awesome. So we're gonna go down to the very end where they're setting off, have a little look at the pits, uh, see if we can see any of the bikes, and then we'll watch a little bit as well. Let me explain what it is. Um, it's an eighth mile, so not quarter mile, eighth mile drag strip on the street, on the front in Ramsey. Um, anybody who comes to the TT on whatever bike, can even be a sidecar, is welcome to bring their bike down and have a go. And they'll time it. And... Yeah, we're going to go right to the start line and uh, watch them set it off. Right, we are now at the very top of the mountain, that is what it's called. Behind me over here is the Victory Cafe, so we're gonna go and check that out. But we've just come down this little side road down here. Um, that way, going past all the way down here, that is the main circuit, the race circuit. But behind us, this little road was a little bit of a hidden gem. It came past the reservoir, if you live here you probably know the road but it was absolutely beautiful again the sun is shining the blue sky above us not even a cloud in the sky it's lovely so we're going to go and check out the victory cafe which is just over here um have a little bit of dinner it's about two o'clock now and then no idea where we're going to go next we're just having a bit of a tour around the island today and see what we can find we just managed to get in time for the tram Snaefell Mountain Tramway. There it goes. It goes all the way down the mountain here. It goes round the corner to Douglas through Laxey. And it goes all the way up round the corner, all the way up to the top of the mountain, which is just up there. This is inside the Victory Cafe. You can see behind me lots of seating. Um, they have motorbikes in here, which is really cool. And on the floor behind me, they christened it with uh, a burnout, which is absolutely awesome. They did a bit of a donut in the middle of the cafe, which is fantastic. And then out of the window behind me, that's the top of the mountain up there. So awesome, awesome cafe. If you're over here, come and check it out. So up here at the Victory Cafe, they also have a gift shop. There's a bike in the shop. Loads of nice merchandise. I got myself a pin badge. So in the hallway, they got one of the old scoreboards, which is really, really cool. Um, you can see that's how they used to track everything. And right next to it, one of the purple helmets motorcycles. If you don't know who they are, they're kind of like a comedy act all on motorbikes. 
they wear these like hilarious jackets and helmets. Um, if you don't know who they are, have a look on YouTube. They're absolutely hilarious. But really cool to see that here in the Victory Cafe. They have loads of bikes like this um, lining the corridors. I wanted to show you this particular one. This is a Yamaha um, 600N. And look at the exhaust on that. That is absolutely insane. So one of the other cool things to do when you come to the Victory Cafe, you can see behind me, everyone has signed a wall. Um, there's a few people signing the wall right now. I'm going to put my name on it. This is Signpost Corner that we're coming up to now. It's a very, very sharp right-hand turn. They really have to anchor up coming down here. In normal day-to-day, -day, like we're driving now, it is a roundabout. So here we go. Down to the roundabout there. Still pretty fast through here. Take a nice sweeping right hand corner down here, and then in a minute, we're going to be coming onto Governor's Dip. Now, it's the only part of the TT circuit that you actually cannot drive on with, uh, you know, with the vehicle. Down there, that is Governor's Dip, so only the bikes go down there, uh, they don't actually go where we're driving right now. They'll go through that little dip, and then it comes out just here on the right so it's a bit difficult for me to show you on the camera but yeah they just come out of there here we go there is the grandstand we're coming up to the finish line i don't actually know where the oh here we go we're crossing it and there we go across the line we have now done an entire lap of the tt circuit the crowd is going wild there's like two people sat there but yeah, we're going to go into the pits and uh, have a bit of a chill there, I think. So here we go at the top of the mountain. It's our final day of racing today. Racing continues right through next week. Uh, but we go home tomorrow back to the UK. We've had a brilliant week here in the Isle of Man. But as you can see above me, the weather has changed a little bit. So we've got a lot of fog this morning. It is clearing quite quickly, actually. Roads have just shut. I've just dropped Dad off at the very top, which is where I'm walking now, at the Victory Cafe where we were yesterday. And I've just gone ahead and parked a little mini right down there. There's so many bikes and cars up here. It's absolutely crazy. Um, but we're going to walk up there and uh, hopefully racing should be starting within the next couple of hours. Racing was due to start at quarter past 11, it's now half past 11. We've been sat in the Victory Cafe, just playing some cards, having a drink. As you can see behind me, the weather has actually got worse, it is actually raining now. Um, so it looks like there's going to be quite a long delay until racing starts. Roads have to open by 6 o'clock to let people get home from work, but then they can shut them again until 9pm. So we might be watching racing well into the evening tonight if the fog doesn't clear. The fog has cleared, as you can hopefully see, but it is very overcast, not what we've been used to this week. It's been a lovely week. Today's uh, a little bit chilly. He's got his puffer jacket on. I'm all right in just a t-shirt. <laughs> oh, we've got a sidecar shakedown, which is another practice lap. The sun, there we go. Sun just coming through a little bit there. Absolutely lovely. So roads are closed. Racing has sort of started. Everyone around here is getting super hyped because the sun's coming out and dad's enjoying his Doritos. Are they your favorite? He likes the hilly, chilly heat wave Doritos.
just watched the super stock race up at the top of Snaefell. Um, Peter Hickman won, which was fantastic. We like Peter Hickman. Um, we're going to wander down. The, well, the race is still actually going on behind us. You can hear a little bit of it. Um, but we're going to wander back down the mountain uh, to the mini. Um, drive down to Sulby. Um, and have a bit of cake and coffee at the church there. The sun has come out, as you can see now. Blue sky, it is absolutely lovely. It's starting to heat up a little bit. So hopefully we're gonna have a good final day in the Isle of Man. We've watched a whole day of racing today. Um, we're currently on our way to Douglas, which is uh, the port where we came in on the ferry at the southeast of the island. And uh, we're just driving through Laxey. We've stopped a couple of times in Laxey down at the front. But one of the main attractions of the island, which is behind me, is the Laxey Wheel. So whilst we're coming through Laxey, we're on our way to Douglas. We thought we'll stop in the Mini, get a photo of it next to the Laxey Wheel. And I thought I'd show you guys on the film as well. Is it? Dad reckons it's the biggest water wheel in the world. We'll have to verify that. If it is, I'll put a little tick on the screen or something. But yeah, Laxey wheel, we've done it. We're currently in Jack's street bar. You can see above me here. Um, it's an amazing steakhouse in Douglas. If you are over here in the Isle of Man, definitely recommend it. The steaks are amazing. So we've just been into Jack's steak bar which is just over there. What did you think of the meal? Absolutely fantastic. If you've never been, go to Jack Steak Bar. It was absolutely lovely. Best we both... place in the Isle of Man. Yeah, it was fantastic. And get the Eaton Mess. The oh, Eaton Mess oh. was, uh, yeah, we're both absolutely yeah, stuffed good. now. It's about 10 o'clock now. We're catching the ferry tomorrow at eight o'clock. Um, Check-in starts at half past six in the morning. So we're going to go home, back to the accommodation, get an early night and then tomorrow morning set off back to the UK. It's been a fantastic, fantastic trip here in the Isle of Man. I think we've both really enjoyed it. Um, the weather has been fantastic. Henry, my little mini, has been superb. It hasn't put a foot wrong. We've absolutely loved it. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you did enjoy our little documentary in the Isle of Man. I wanna do more of these kind of videos in the future. So if it is something that you've enjoyed, please like the video and let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, hopefully plenty more videos coming in the near future. See you next time.